Because if there's one thing I know about this Prime Minister, he's a fighter. And he'll be back at the helm, leading us through this crisis in short order. I think Dominic Raab will be ready for this. He stood for the Conservative leadership. He was playing, he wanted to do the Prime Minister's job. You know, he wouldn't have wanted to take it on, even in a temporary way, under these terms. I think everybody within government has been quite shocked at um, the fact that Boris Johnson seemed mildly ill for a while and has now suddenly got much more seriously ill. And in his first chat with the BBC after taking over, Brad did look slightly shaken. He didn't look as composed as he normally is. There's an incredibly strong team spirit behind the Prime Minister, and that's the way we will bring the whole country uh, through the coronavirus challenge that we face right now. But I think that's not necessarily the burden of responsibility so much as the shock of the circumstances in which it's taken place. Uh, Rob is an experienced MP and minister. He's been an MP since 2010. The Brexit secretary um, under Theresa May, he resigned, um, one of the many, many cabinet ministers to do so, over aspects of a Brexit deal. Um, he's best known within politics in terms of his beliefs as being a Brexiter. I certainly think the Conservatives cannot win an election unless we've delivered Brexit. But he's seen as very, very hard working quite competent. I mean, he was um, a, a lawyer before he entered politics. He had, you know, quite a long and senior um, career outside politics. So I think he'll be seen as a kind of safe pair of uh, hands in what is um, hopefully just a kind of temporary measure. Raab will be chairing the daily meetings of the committee, the COVID committee, which decides what to, uh, to uh, do. He'll be liaising with other cabinet ministers. He wouldn't, unlike the Prime Minister, would be able to, he wouldn't push through a big decision without the rest of the Cabinet being on board. If in the coming days there is a need for a national leader to talk to the Prime Minister or President of another country, then it would be expected that Rob would be taking that role. So he would handle any of that kind of ceremonial stuff. He will be the figurehead of the government. But it's basically taking the reins, chairing whatever Cabinet-based committees need to be there, and being in charge um, until you know Boris Johnson is hopefully back. If for whatever reason there was a need for a new leader in the long term, then Raab would not necessarily be in that job. It's not quite clear what would take place. There might be someone else taking over or there might be a leadership uh, election, but this is very, very much seen as a kind of interim kind of taking a strange job just for a matter of days or weeks. Rob has been given this role partly because Foreign Secretary is seen as um, you know, one of the very, very most important ministerial uh, offices, arguably the second most important uh, office. Probably in terms of seniority in the cabinet would have been either Rob or Michael Gove, who's got the kind of um, cross-government role of Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster. There are some people who say that the reason that Johnson hasn't chosen Gove is he doesn't entirely trust Michael Gove. Matt Hancock, the Health Secretary, um, is also obviously at the centre of the COVID plans, but he's very, very much focused on the day-to-day -day operations, so trying to be the symbolic head too would be quite tricky. Whereas, because the role does involve, to an extent, talking with foreign leaders, um, that's partly Dominic Wilde's remit anyway, so it's perhaps easier for him to take that stuff on.